was a day at the office, dearie. Oh, bloody hell. Same as usual. About nine o'clock this morning, bloke comes and asks me to look at his teeth. I take one quick look at him and I tell him three things. First off, it cost him more than he can afford. He's a poor looking chap, buddy. Second, he have braces for about five years. And third, he'd have crooked teeth for the rest of his life. Ah. <laughs> really? Well, up more like ten, probably. Oh, oh, oh. Well, any more gangs on with Mr. Davison? Don't talk to me about Mr. Davison. He's a poor excuse for a dentist. Mm. And when he's not running around, ruin feelings I did on patients, feelings I did years back. He's talking to his kids, shouldn't be in the office at all. Mm. Little ruffians. Ragamuffins, I suppose. Right, ragamuffins. Hooligans. Running round, taking the paintings off the walls, oh. knocking down the furniture, oh, peeing in the potted plants. Oh. Won't have any of it. Hmm. Nothing like when we were children. <laughs> right? Yeah. Do you remember when we were children? Yes. Good. Aliens creating chaos. Chaos, yes. Speaking of chaos, walked into the house the other day, jackets, coats strewn all across the floor, not to mention the papers. Now don't talk to me about the state of the house. As if I don't see how everything's in sixes and sevens all, all day long. I, I work and live in it. I see much more of it than you do. I just expected that you'd have some time to clean it during the day. Well, I try my best. Enjoy the good meals and everything. Good meals, my dear. Yeah, good. Uh, but it's this, <laughs> this page is good for nothing. No class. Wouldn't work if, even if she could, which she can't. Well, I, I thought she was good. Best candidate when you're looking for a job, I told you. More I harm than good she is. Heard she's rather loose on the weekends too. Scandal. Where'd you hear that? I heard it from Martha. Martha. Martha who? She knows about these things. Martha from down on on the uh, down, down the street, but one. Oh, Martha. Yes, yes. Yeah, Martha. of course, good old Martha. Exactly. And she would know, wouldn't she? Sure, she would. Yeah. <clears throat> I only, I'm only glad that. That this maid wasn't around when our dear Fitzwilliam was a child. Oh, thank goodness. Imagine what that girl would have been an influence on him when, if she was a nanny, you know, what he would have turned out like. I don't even want to imagine. Me neither. Thank God for that. Speaking of Fitzwilliam, <clears throat> he's looking for some jobs. Is he now? What kind of work? do you think he should go into? You think I should apprentice and come a dentist like you? <coughs> Surely not. Don't know the coordination mm. for the job. The job we do. Could end it up bloody messing. <laughs> I'll take my job seriously, man. He's thinking about maybe the bond salesman. Oh no, that's not good at all. You remember Mr. Derbysire? The bond salesman. Been oh. in the business 30 years he has. Bloody hell, what's he got to show for that? <laughs> Nothing good, I Not mind much. you. No, no, that wouldn't do at all. <clears throat> Not at all. How about politics then? Ha 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 